some huge mushroom tops here. They're definitely on their way out though. Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I can smell like so much mushroom smell coming off of them though. <laughs> um, I'm assuming that's, you know, it's it's late in the year, so they probably die this time every year. I've been surprised I've seen any that were healthy, but I guess some strains are more resilient than others. <laughs> start on this trail too but no fault of my own this time <laughs> like uh no google maps took me to the, the way wrong place when it's this trail's kind of well it's just down the road from the visitor center you can get to it from the visitor center on a trail but it's a lot more confusing for sure kind of crazy these two trees here were obviously standing right next to each other and they sort of just fell apart off to the sides walkway seems to go on for a really long time it's definitely not maintained though you know, these boards are really rickety <laughs> you can see if you like step on some of these Keep seeing these recently uprooted mushrooms and this one almost looks edible but <laughs> I don't know I keep wondering if uh, it's people or animals that are pulling them out you know what are you eating Cedar graveyard right back here. <laughs> the bases are enormous. What do you think lives in here? <laughs> Definitely something. You could totally turn that into a little gnome house for sure. <laughs> like a little motel for elves or something. <laughs> So many of these huge trees have been cut down. You know? Yeah, you 
can never see the tops on these. This one's really big. Actually, it looks healthy. It'd be kind of sad if you were like a tree that lived for like thousands of years and then all of a sudden you got like Dutch elm disease or <laughs> I don't know, whatever tree disease kills cedars or <laughs> On these switchbacks going up into up the mountain and the switchback was taking me away from this area but I heard water so I sort of followed it through the woods over here and you can see there's this awesome tiny little waterfall coming down this huge rock it like makes its way through all this brush and you can see over here there's a Well, but yeah, I almost missed it. <laughs> Yeah, there's the waterfall. I think it's cool. There's this big tree growing out of the bank. It's resting on this giant rock over here. No doubt that tree got so big because it's constantly being fed by that waterfall. I cut over at the lower switchback, but once you get up to the water, it cuts back over to the upper switchback above it. So it's almost like it's kind of like part of the trail. It keeps you going in the right direction. When I came out though, I just saw some people blowing by it. So I imagine most people don't see it. So it was a pretty good climb up to this point. Um, this is where the trail splits. Uh, I was gonna go up this way. I've already been to Comet Falls, so it'd be pointless for me to hike all the way out there. I mean, there's some peaks and points that you can hike up to, I guess is the draw of that one, but that'd be another seven miles round trip just to get to that peak, so. I'm gonna go this way though. This is where I was, Longmire. That's the general store and stuff. I'm gonna go to this Rampart Ridge Trail though. Uh, beyond that, there's just some camps, which I don't really care about because I'm already got a campsite. But yeah, this Ridge Trail it goes back down to the Trail of the Shadows, which is where I'm parked. From the Trail of the Shadows, instead of going down the road, I could have gone the other way on this trail and and came down here. Originally, I was gonna go further. I just don't have a lot of time now. So yeah, hopefully this ridge has a view. 
and then we'll be heading back down. It's quite a long trail once you get on the trail, so there'll be a lot more to see for sure. Okay, so I was wrong. This is the split off where I was going to continue on. So I was hoping to get to this Indian Henry's, which sounds like a very outdated title. <laughs> but yeah, I didn't realize it was five miles out there. I was just going to go out there as far as I could and then turn back, really. So yeah, I wanted to stay on the Wonderland Trail. And the reason why I went the way I did, connecting down the road instead of the easy way to get to this point was because it seemed like a lot shorter distance on the map to get to here. But now I'm going to end up going down that way anyway, <laughs> so, in reverse, just because of time, really. So yeah, you can see here, uh, we're going to go Rampart Ridge uh, to the viewpoint, and then Longmire is like a little ways after that. So that's going to be to get to Longmire another three miles. That's not bad. It probably was like maybe two miles to get here coming this other way. So yeah, and then this viewpoint is only 1.2 miles. So we'll see that along the way. So before I get going on this last three mile trek, I'm gonna eat this turkey bacon panini that I got. I'm like, <laughs> don't be jealous. And hopefully my snacks won't turn me into bear snacks while I'm out here. <laughs> but I do have bear spray. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna try and eat this as fast as I can on the trail. So yeah, I guess I'm on the ridge. The trails looked exactly like this for a really long time. <laughs> uh, yeah, and it's level so I must be traveling along the ridge to the viewpoint but the woods on both sides is just really dense so I mean you, you really get the feeling like you're in the thick of it up here which is pretty cool squeaks and whistles. This has to be like a critter haven up here. <laughs> yeah, I would probably film more up here too, but this trail literally all looks the same. I've been hiking on this ridge, seems like forever now. And I just realized I'm only halfway along the ridge. So I just gotta double that with the same scenery. setting behind like this almost perfectly rounded little hill over here. Oh man, look at the colors on these bushes. They're like super surreal. I've never ever in my whole life seen colors that vibrant on any bush or any tree, you know? So there's some on this side too. You can kind of see them a little closer. But yeah, this this one especially right here, it's just like glowing because it's so bright and vivid. Yeah, this one too. Wow. Yeah, all of these really, they're just really bright. I 
don't think this is the actual viewpoint yet. We're almost there, but you can already kind of get a glimpse of what it's gonna be like. Very green and huge, like very spacious. There's actually a river way over here running through the valley. So I'm at the viewpoint, it is kind of covered by trees a lot, but you can really see the river ripping through the valley right here. It comes out all the way over here too. Got another 1.8 miles to go and it's almost 6.30. It's gonna get dark again. I'm gonna have to like just book it down. So this is my sign off. Yeah, it's really beautiful up here. Actually, this is the first place in two days that I've actually got reception. I have like full bars up here somehow. Uh, so I've been trying to take care of some business, but anyway, thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.